Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. Here in the YouTube space, there's actually a lot of talent, way more talent than I think a lot of people realize. I mean, it's over here on YouTube that we have stuff like Ninja Sex Party. It's over here on YouTube that we have rappers like Dax. But another person, specifically in the YouTube music review and react world, uh, that has a, a bit of the music bug in him, meaning making music, you know what I'm saying. Maybe some of you guys in the comments are thinking, uh, screw face. Jean. Maybe Anthony's talking about him. That guy does make some bangers and some, some amazing, amazing thumbnails, thumbnails too. But no, in this specific case, who I'm talking about is Brad Taste in Music, who has not only been on a bit of a creative streak as of late, uh, but also has been embroiled in some beef too. Beef just seems to be in the air because before it was Kendrick Cole, Drake, Metro, it was Brad Taste in Music and MGK who were uh, at each other's throats on Twitter, if you can believe it or not. MGK from Brad anticipated a very negative review of uh, the new EP he recently put out with Trippy Red, Genre, Sad Boy. Which, uh, yes, I didn't like the uh, EP myself. I also thought it sucked, but I do have to give it to, to Bradley on this one. I feel like his, his his negative reaction, his negative uh, take on that record is the, the canon negative take for that record on the internet. I'm just out here doing my part in addition to that, especially now that uh, Bradley has dropped this new project over here that seems to, uh, I guess, just kind of bolster his take on uh, genre sad boy. Uh, the title of it is genre Brad boy. So yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of a, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what, uh, this little EP project here that lasts seven minutes and five seconds, what this uh, record may hold. Let's give it a spin and find out, starting with the song, 11 Cents. <laughs> what is this? So, uh, like wiggling a piece of sheet metal? What is that? What is this sound? Uh, they asked me how I made it here, common sense. I got a bad bitch, she wasn't having sense. This is actually respectably weird. I feel like I'm listening to a combination of uh, d uh, something clipping would do for a beat. Just like grab some piece of industrial metal and just hit it a bunch of times. And that's the beat. So you have that. And then you've got like early Tyler, the creator sounding mean and kind of deadpan. That, that's the vibe I'm getting. I just had to win 100%. I remember when I used to have 11 cents. Pull up to the club and I don't need ID. That's where I am, yeah, you know, where I be. Throwing all this money, yeah, presidents. I remember when I only had 11 cents. <laughs> Again, very Tyler type keys uh, right there on that electric piano, but um, the, the, the 11 cents refrain, bars. Pack in the action, figure passion, religious, other bigger things. I bought 50 diamond rings, got all this bling, but I can't sing my bars, they stink. And all my cars are pushing stop. Okay, we, 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 we need some kind of internet wayback machine detective sleuthing to, to, to happen. I need this. I need to hire a PI because guaranteed Brad was in my comments on the Goblin review hating, typing some shit like, shut up, Fantano. You're a loser. Tyler's the goat. Yonkers forever. Looking at the titles here, and I'm, I'm sort of seeing like a, a progression, a progression of success. This EP is a story of Brad winning, maybe. We'll see. All right, let's hear I Was Broke. More wiggly metal, this time faster? I was broke. I was a joke. Now I can't lose. The bar, the club, or Red Lobster, I can't choose. Remember when I used to wear broken shoes? Remember when I used to sing the blues? I have so much money, I can start a bank. I <laughs> No lie, this feels like some early New York no wave noise slam poetry spoken word what is going on here i'm, I'm, I'm kind of blown away by this it's it's avant-garde pull up 
in a tank. I have so much paper, I can own staples. The way Bradley is like really leaning into his uh, his accent a little bit on this track, it's giving Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, I've got so much paper, I can uh, uh, buy staples. I don't know if I'm gonna eat uh, Red Lobster, I'm gonna have uh, some KFC, I, I can't choose, I don't know. I can't get no respect from MGK. <laughs> okay, uh, l let's hear the song, You a Clown. F fingers crossed that we get more wiggly metal sound effects. Yeah. Oh yeah, the consistent repetition sonically going on here. It's it, it's giving Wesley Willis. Brad is a true outsider artist. Th this is incredible. You are a clown, always coming to my shows. I can recognize you from your shiny red nose. Looking for gold at the end of the rainbow. Always trying to get into my cash flow. I can rap fast and I can rhyme slow wherever I go. I will perform my songs, whether rain, sleet, or snow. But if I see you at the show, then I gotta go. Okay, very direct, simple diss there uh, from Bradley. I respect it. I respect it. The person he's rapping about is a clown. He can, he can recognize the clown from their red nose. I get it. Seeing the symbolism there. Let's listen to No More Mr. Nice Guy, which I'm hoping, I'm hoping is a cover. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more being nice. No more being nice. <laughs> Is this like angry new age music? I, I feel like he's inventing a new genre here. The ambient synths in the background. I am not a nice guy. No. Stop. I was on the block. Like a gas station. I am no longer patient. No! No more being nice. Ah! Okay, I've, I've, I've never, never feared for my life at the level that I just was with just a piece of music on. Never. Okay, uh, in, in hopes that I don't soil myself, let's hear the last track on here. They don't want to see us win. And with, with art like this, I, I could see why. This is some wake up sheeple kind of stuff. They can't let this get out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. Cars driving? They don't want to see us win. Whoa. How, How should I, I even begin? Ah! This, this is Lynchian. I'm entering the Black Lodge right now. That, that's how serious this is. They don't want to see us win ever again. They don't want to see us win. How should I even begin? Ah, ah. Is someone hurting him while he records this? Are the cars driving by running him over? <laughs> if he needs help, why isn't he asking for it? Why is he just continuing to rap if he's being run over by vehicles? They don't want to see us win. How should I begin? Ah! Very uh, experimental death grips type ending there. I'll say that. Um, yeah.